Evening folks, this is Vagrant back with a little bit more of The Sinking City. We have just, we're kind of investigating what happened with Albert Throg or something, Martin. And we've just uncovered this. We're going to go check and see if we can piece together the scene. Like so. Take this, ape face. <laughs> well, I assume it's ape face means this dude is Albert. So Albert got shot by this dude. Whereas this dude over here was throwing a barrel at this dude. <laughs> What's happening? This is where he went mental. People start to run away from him out of the room. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so that's the three scenes. What is this meant to represent? I don't know, to me it seems chronological from here to here to here, right? Let's assume that's the case and go from there. Quite like that, that's pretty cool. Take this, Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Nice! See? Investigation of the main case reveals clues for your mind palace. Combine pairs of relevant clues to get evidence and deductions. These are crucial information for the case and nuances. Some deductions can be interpreted differently. This can lead to different conclusions. Discover all possible conclusions to fully understand the case. It's up to you how you solve it. I really like that idea. If that is actually followed through properly, that is very cool. But that's quite a difficult thing to do. The game really wants me to check out the Mind Palace. Oh, we've got loads of new things, right. Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Okay. So Albert Throgmorton fled when he was wounded. Uh... Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Okay. Anti Throgmorton sentiment. As an in Innsmouthfer, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate them. Okay. Let's see, we're, put we're putting some stuff here. Getting it together a little bit. Albert came back, was rescued. And sort of going mental on the bed. He was clearly dangerous. He was going mental. He attacked them, right? And then... So he started to sort of attack them, and then they were very ready to fight him back because Lewis Flynn, as an Innsmouthfer, hates the Throckmortons because the Throckmortons hate the Innsmouthfers and clearly want them out of the town, etc. And that's my only clue. Looking for some omens. Hello, what's this cheeky little nonsense all about? Um, what's going on there? Why is that like that? <laughs> I don't understand. How odd. Maybe that's something to like warn away spooky people. Oh, let's follow them then. I think this is Albert. He's got an Alberti shaped head. They're running, they're running. Was Albert chasing Lewis? Oh. That was weird as fuck. This is all very strange. Oh. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. No, no. These symbols are everywhere. It's very interesting. So Lewis is following Albert. Maybe this is Lewis then, losing his mind. 
because of the hysteria that Albert's been spreading. Three? Three? Exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay. I don't know if I shouldn't. Like, I know I'm losing my mind. Do I need to not? The game hasn't really warned me about what happens if I drain my sanity, what I assume is a sanity bar, all the way down to the bottom. I haven't been told, so I think we'll just stop just in case. At least we're in the right area. No, that'll do. He's pointing towards the house. Warehouse. What is that? Why is there a big spooky thing? Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. Ha! <laughs> I don't have yet enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping around the port, but don't worry, I've struck a ni nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. So someone owed money to Lewis. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Let's have a cheeky little look. Um. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, is it to deliver fish? I guess so. I guess this opens somehow. Yeah. Otherwise, it's nonsensical. Well, this is weird. Um. Do we want to go in the door? <laughs> I mean. We're going to go in the door, but do we want to go in the door? Okay. The door won't budge. Oh! Do you reckon this is... What the? What is that?! <laughs> Hit it! Kill it! My guy should be reacting more to what just happened. I just got attacked by a monster. Hello, is this Albert or I, I'm gonna say Lewis? Oh no, it looks like Albert, doesn't it? Oh, it is Albert. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Well, I did say I'd find him. He's dead, but technically I found him. <laughs> Double check in. Okay. Got. Uh, I'll leave. I'll be back in a minute, buddy. Got all the evidence. I don't really want to keep hanging around here. It's kind of freaking me out. So <laughs> let's make haste. Have I lost it? Oh, I've lost it. Oh, we can go upstairs still. Oh, go to the bloody mind palace. All right. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Albert was murdered. Lewis. Okay. Well, that was without. Okay. Apparently not. Lewis may have wanted Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Okay, chase him down, but it was to kill him. Lewis, the innsman for that killed Albert Throgmorton, may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, we have a lot of clues. Just gonna check something. I'm using the default options, but there is one about the difficulty of the investigation. Um, evidence in your casebook will have an icon to indicate you can use it to advance the case. 
and that doesn't. So I'm going to leave it on this for now because this is the default. I don't think we've seen any that come into action yet. I'm going to see what that plays out like, and if it is too beginnery, then um, we'll get rid of it. And though maybe that's it right there, right? Lewis may be at the bar. Which I think we could have figured out, <laughs> frankly. Right, well, that was... Do we go back and talk to... It's a very cool looking town. <laughs> it's like Pokemon Snap, but for depression. <laughs> Nya! Nya! What are you? Come here! Right, I'm gonna go talk to him. Tell me his son's dead. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. <laughs> My condolences, Mr. Thorborn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I don't really want to tell him. <laughs> like, I know it's probably Lewis. Like, we're 99% sure it's Lewis. But I don't want to tell him that anyway, so I'm going to make that decision. I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. No, I won't. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. Look, this, we don't live in a vigilante society. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. I'll be quiet. And keep your hands where I can Mr. see. Mr. Throgmorton, now, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that first hand. Try oh, to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throgmort found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. Okay, then. Piecing it all together. Let's have a little look what we're looking at here. Oh, we're not done. Right? Key evidence, but not all evidence. Back to the house! What are we missing? Dog. Got some loot. The book is damp and damaged, yeah. but clearly well cared for. Hmm. I suppose we did kind of leave since we started tracking the, the spooks, so maybe there is something I missed. I didn't see it, but then again, if, I saw, if I'd seen it, I wouldn't have missed it, so that should go without saying, really. What am I missing? Take tremendous effort to move this <laughs> Let's thing. see what you find. Oh, yeah. over like this. I still hear those voices. I still hear the voices. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure I looted all this last time. Because I got alcohol last time, right? Weird. What am I missing? Maybe I can do this? Is there any point in doing this? It does not look like it. I didn't look at it, whatever the hell that is. 
Oh, hello. Five cards short of a full house. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I now know they, they played poker. And you never know how... I think I'm hurting myself. You never know how valuable that could be. Right, so we need to go... to... I haven't leveled up. We'll check all that when we level up. Um, I mean, we're going for, we're going to the, the the bar, right? This is the idea. I'm gonna pin that, I and mean, we want to place that somewhere, but we don't know where the bar is. So where would I place it? How am I meant to? Well, it says it's in the port. Isn't this whole area the port? Let's just have a little wander around. Kill it. What am I actually hitting with? What is that? It's an undisclosed item. I've only got six bullets, so I figured I'd... Keep them reloaded, but... I'm gonna stick to the camera. Right, if Fatal Frame taught me anything, it's that a camera is just as good a weapon as a pistol. He runs like I do. <laughs> it's just to say poorly. Oh god, face exploded. That's why I don't sneeze until I start got it. Oh, we found the bar. And discovered you can in fact kill those things. So is this the bar where I am now? Yeah. Okay, alright, let's go check inside. My face meh. <laughs> Oh, it hurts trying to stop it. <laughs> oh god, right. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hey. Got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Oh. Yeah. Do you want me to shoot you, or...? Got a spare you look familiar, fella. but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Well, Billy's a bad man, because Billy talks about himself in the third person. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. He's all your ish. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Look, it's a mad one. <laughs> come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh. It's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Well, if you tell me them, they won't be a surprise. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. I've got alcohol. What? Well, I've got alcohol! It's no. All the time. <laughs> Maybe. As you wish. Yeah, I'll have one of my bullets. Oh, screw it. I'd like Split. Yeah, go on. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. For the memories. We lost the bullet, but I figured most people would have shot the weird little thing in the basement, and I didn't, so I figured I had a spare bullet, basically. Huh. 
How weird. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. They really don't like the whole newcomer thing, do they? As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye. Hey, knock it. Oh, sorry, lad. Wasn't on purpose. I have a little poke around first. I mean, I'm a newcomer and he hates me, but he's still gonna let me wander behind the bar and do whatever the hell I like. Having some octopus for dinner. Gonna, gonna roll it out. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've cooked octopus a couple of times in my life, and I don't think I ever involved a rolling pin in the process, but maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe that's how you stop it getting uh, chewy. People always complain about that, like, they worry about octopus getting chewy and calamari getting chewy, but honestly, it needs a little bit of chewiness, it's like the best bit. Anyways. <laughs> you would have been shot by now, son, I'm just telling you. Harmonica boy. It's like when you go to a campsite or a beach and there's always one dick with an acoustic guitar who feels the need to pull it out. You're not Bob Dylan, put the guitar away. Nobody cares. What the? Get them! Oh. Okay, good point. I'm very passionate about this whole guitar thing. <laughs> Even as someone who dabbles in guitar, nobody needs to hear you play it on the beach at 3am. Just trying to get laid. There's only one room in the bloody place. Alright, okay, here we go. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Fish boy! Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. I bet he didn't do it. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> Why do you look like that? That seems so mean. Okay, let's, let's, let's be mean later. That, that, that seems more logical. I don't think he killed him. Because... My main problem with it so far is why would you shoot him? And they said, like, he's, like, my guy, me. I said he killed him and then hid the body. But he didn't. The body was on hooks. Hidden, <laughs> like, hanging up in the middle of the room. That's not hiding a body at all. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. He pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? 
I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Cool motive. Still murder. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. <laughs> it turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. <laughs> okay. Why not, I guess. <laughs> to the Mind Palace! Oh, law. Mythos. Oh, okay. A bit more on this. Um, I feel like... like I wasn't going to reveal. I don't like Robert Throgmorton, right? And I believe Lewis and this whole craziness. Lewis was aware of his actions. Lewis was mentally affected. Oh, I get to choose. Well, I mean, okay. So it's interesting because you see how we're building up this the case, right? We've got the two evidence pieces on the left, which is that there is an anti-Throgmorton sentiment amongst the Innsmouthers, and therefore Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. We also have that Albert spreading hysteria to everyone around him, and that Albert was dangerous. I'm going to go with this one. And that's going to lead me to a certain conclusion. I've made... Yeah, you want me to do something, don't you? So this is the conclusion I've reached. I could have said Lewis was just trying to murder him, but I've decided he was under a mental influence. Yeah, cool. Let's just read that again in case you missed it. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover him for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. And, yeah. 
Oh, I can change that. Oh, oh, spooky. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna end it there. Next episode. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this clue. Which is the one that's pinned. Next episode, we will do something. <laughs> I guess go talk to Robert and tell him we don't know or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out as we head out of the bar, I'm sure. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. Cheers, myself as always. Bye bye.